all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rekak, Wadash. Double honors to the elder apostles from the great millstone who taught us this truth. In today's lesson, you can see on your screen, my name is Milkuma. You can see it says, uh, drinking water warning issued uh, nationwide. And um, so I believe this here, it, it, it just have subtitles. It's not an actual, an actual video. Well, it's a video, but the subtitles are. Uh, going across the screen and see this is published uh, well, a couple of days was it last week yeah well the beginning of this week I believe uh, I think the day is happened to be the 24th uh, 23rd today is the 23rd so you can see um, Up here it says drinking water warning issue nationwide. Uh, <clears throat> we're gonna read a little bit of it. It says the, uh, the Environmental Protection Agency (EPA) issued an enforcement alert Monday, urging uh, water utility system to take immediate actions to protect the nation's drinking water from cyber attacks. So, this is going to be a cyber attack um, against uh, the uh, American citizens of uh, drinking water. And we know that what's going on overseas happens. It, it has an effect at what's going on over here in the United States. Okay. So, the things that, uh, that America and its... Uh, allies are portraying against other nations of people which you know american allies are really just you know those israelis over there the things that they're doing and america has plenty of enemies okay even american allies which uh i'm speaking of uh of is nato they starting to come against what america's uh saying uh you know they are disagreeing with America because I believe the last thing that I can rem recall that uh, I believe uh, the nations wanted uh, the, the United States to stop funding uh, uh, Israel over there because Israel is uh, you know causing mass death over there you know with uh, the war against uh, Hamas and it's like they're they're more and over. It's like a, uh, a lawnmower, just just a, a huge lawnmower, just mowing over people. You know, you have uh, things that you want to, uh, you know, address, but you're addressing the things you want to address and whatever's in the way. Okay. So. Without letting it play, let's look at some of the, uh, the, the subtitles that's going into it. It says the Environmental Protection Agency. Pretty much what I read. I'm just let it play. Okay, so it's just basically what it is. It's just going into uh, the cyber attack. So I, I can I can truly believe that a cyber attack is actually coming and it's going to affect Babylon the Great, which is America. Okay, because I, I heard a little bit about this, uh, I guess I could say last month, uh, or maybe a month or two ago, they was going into how Japan had, uh, uh, you know, got into the water system and I believe I forgot the name of the state, but they had, uh, I think the, uh, the alert went off, but come to find out, as they say, there was no issues with it, but they were saying that, you know, uh, 
China. I think I, did I say Japan. I'm sorry. I meant China. China had uh, something to do with it about a cyber attack. Okay. And it was the water infantry was uh, uh, attacked or something to the extent. Or they was trying to get into it. Okay. So let's get this precept. Uh, this is uh, Second Edges. Uh, chapter 6, verse 24 says, At that time shall friends fight one against another like enemies. So this is the time that, that's fastly approaching. Okay? And the reason why they're going to be fighting because of food and water. Okay? Food, that's famine the Lord talks about throughout the scriptures. You know, he uh, the same thing that happened in the past is going to happen again. Okay? That's also in the scriptures. I believe that's in the book of Ecclesiastes. You know? It says, and the earth shall stand in fear with those that dwell therein. Okay? So you can imagine the things that the prophets have been saying out on the street corners and how the people are going to react. Okay? When it actually happens. You know, everyone is just la di da and, you know, pass the prophets on the street corners to telling them what's, what's going to happen. You know, people don't want to take the uh, accountability that what America is doing is going to actually, uh, you know, affect us. Okay. It says in the earth shall stand in fear with those that dwell therein and the springs of the fountain shall stand still and the three and in three hours they shall not run. Okay. So it will be a famine of food and water, man. Okay. You know, uh, it goes into how, uh, I think it's the second edge is 15 goes into that uh, let's see if we can grab that I think it's 15 and 15 well, I think it's on down As a matter of fact let's just start at uh, 15 second edge is 15 and 15 it says for the sword and their destruction draw now and one people shall stand up and fight against another with swords in their hand. And the reason they're going to fight, going to stand up against each other because of the famine. Okay, it says, for there should be sedition among men and, and invading one another's. Another, they shall not regard the kings, nor princes, or the, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. And the, prince, the king and princess is the... You know, the people that you have in uh, different office, uh, you know, presidents, governors, and so on and so forth. Second, there is 15 and 17. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. Okay. And uh, how is that going to happen? You know, dealing with, you know, these road blockings, uh, these bridges being cut off, uh, you know. Verse 18, for because of their pride, the cities shall be trouble the houses shall be destroyed and the men shall be afraid you know okay so the things the actions i mean the things that happen you know uh like the lord said because of their pride you know you have to pay for pride man because, you know especially when you are uh, it's, it's affecting someone else okay a man shall this uh, verse 19 a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor but shall destroy their houses with the sword. And the modern day sword is the gun. And spoil their goods because of lack of bread for great tribulation. See, this is that uh, uh, the famine. And for great tribulations, man. Okay, people in the church think tribulation is dealing with how the Lord is going to come back and, you know, not save some people and come back in seven years. Hey, that's, that's, that's false. That's not in the scriptures. Okay. That's well, not in the scriptures at all. So, you know, I just wanted to touch on that. Uh, I don't know. I'm going to have to start getting in the habit to, uh, of, uh, you know, naming the videos, you know, uh, like the apostles always do. They always tell you a title of the video. So at the end, I'm <laughs> probably, uh, you know, entitled it the same as what we drink, uh, you know, Reading here, the drinking water warning issue nationwide. So, you know, we can look forward for these things to happen. But the Lord has also said that, you know, he's going to take care of his prophets, man. Uh, how's it go? I 
I think that's in uh Um uh, I thought it was in the book of Isaiah, which I think I'll the scriptures be uh <laughs> I always say Isaiah, that'd be one of my first uh which I believe it is Isaiah, let's see. Because uh, this is uh this is real, man, you know. Which, you know, through the spirit we know that uh A lot of uh, of what's going on overseas, you know, is well. What I meant to say before I kind of was thinking something else. Uh, you know, the elites want this to happen. They want America to catch hell because America just really is a you know an industry or a business, should I say? And, matter of fact, let's see, um, uh, servants shall eat, you know, so really America's, uh, in debt right now, you know, there we go. Isaiah 65 and verse 13, it said, Therefore thus saith the Lord God, Yahweh, Behold, my servants shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Behold, my servants shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty, because the Salakia says, Behold, my servants shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. You know, and why were we going to rejoice? Because, you know, we have waited for this time for so long to come to pass. And, you know, because we know was to come after this society crumbles, man. Okay, the Lord is going to set up, uh, you know, Jacob to rule. All right? The one that's not, uh, how the scripture go is, one that's not uh, a ruler, the one that's not, uh, I think it says liable, or not known, or that, you know, I'm not going to look for that because I know it's going to take a little bit longer, but, you know, uh, hey, this time is fastly approaching, man, with this drinking water uh, issue, you know, which is, is prophesied to happen, you know. Like I was talking to this one guy, I always, he, he always say I'm kind of crazy, you know, because of the things I tell him, you know. But I, I had kind of made up in my mind that I was going to stop kind of telling him stuff like that. But it just seemed like every time we have a conversation, it comes out like that. And this go around, he come to me and ask me, man, I guess it is going to be a war now. Of course it is. The scripts to talk about it. But, you know, for I, I try to not to involve the scriptures because I know his his his, his outlook on it. You know, he... Yeah, he's been <laughs> traumatized by the church, man, the so-called black church, okay? He's been traumatized with the, the lies that they have been, uh, you know, selling the congregation. But, you know, it is what it is. But I'm going to go ahead and end it and say, Barak Thummy how about Shimi Abishai? And, uh, you know, uh, Lord willing, he'll continue to be with us and uh, not take his Holy Spirit from us. Uh, the men that's, that's, you know, that's laboring and, you know, doing the work that he commanded us to do. Okay. Until the next time, I say shalom.